Hello guys, this is Jan from CrossCloud and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to easily convert your favorite 3D file format like OBG, FBX to GLB. GLTF is the future of 3D on the web, so these days almost every 3D software supports this format. I'm gonna show you the workflow in Blender, as this tutorial is for complete beginners and you maybe don't know what Blender is. Blender is an open source 3D creation suite and one of the most popular 3D editing software. Long story short. The important information is it's free and if you plan to dig into 3D world, you should definitely take a look at it. Ok, so as you can see, here we have an OBG file with some textures and material file and we would like to convert it to GLB to be able to upload it to CrossCloud for example. So let's open Blender, here go to the file, import OBG, uh, we need to find our file, it's there, import it, ok, you can take a look at it, check if everything is ok, check textures for example, if they are loaded correctly, they are, looks like. So go back to file, now go to export and here we need to choose GLTF 2.0. Let's find our folder again, let's give it some meaningful name like test for example, it's a great name. And on the right here there is a couple of important options. Format, you need to choose GLB. Is the default option, so it should be already selected, just make sure it's there. Another important option are under the geometry tab. It's a good idea to uncheck the normals. As CrossCloud is using unlit render, it means there are no dynamic lights, shadows or reflections, normals are not really needed, so if you uncheck this option, you save a lot of space, usually around 30% which is huge. Another important option is compression. You should leave it unchecked, as CrossCloud doesn't support Draco mesh compression. It's because of compatibility and it's a quite long story, so I'm not gonna dive into it. Just make sure it's unchecked. Ok, that's it, let's finally click on export. And now as you can see, we got our fresh new GLB file here. Mission accomplished. 